I, Dr. S. R. Pal, Assistant Professor of Geology Department, Jamsepur Women's College. In the CBCS system of UG third six semester, there is parasitology, in which different life cycle of the organisms are to be studied. Today, I am going to discuss the life cycle of Trichinella spiralis. Life cycle of Trichinella spiralis, which is commonly known as Trichina worm. It was named by when? 1935. Trichina worm is a smaller nematode and it is mostly found in USA and European country. The parasite actually digenetic. I mean it completes its life cycle in two hosts, P or rat and human. Pig is the reservoir host and man is the primary host because to complete the life cycle or to take sexual maturity any organism cannot be able to complete its whole process in the single host. So, so to take the sexual maturity, to get sexual maturity, it needs the help of another host. So here this worm is uh, required two host, pig as the reservoir host and human is the primary host. Now you see these two are, this is the male one and this is the female one. Male one is smaller than the female one. It has blunt end in male, blunt end, anus are shown here, mouth parts are there and this one so sexual dimorphism means male and female are separate. Female here behave as the nature of viviparous attitude that when it gives birth the embryonic larva. Now we will now proceed through its description. Here you see that I have represented the two worms, it is male and this one the female. Both the worms are present in the human intestine and there they alive or they present up to two to three months. They maintain their life cycle, start their life cycle, so they undergo copulation. And after copulation, generally male dies. The female then lays larva, that's why it is um, known as viviparous uh, activity of the female species. The female lays larvae and these larvae are passes through the fecal discharge of the host. That means I have here shown that faces of men, larvae or adult can be there. This fecal matter which are actually discharged in outside, what happened? 
Now it will, it may be the chances of the ingestion by the swine. That means I have written here ingested by swine. That means this infected, the larvae is the most infective form of the worm. It is ingested by swine and uh, through the uh, digestive passage it ultimately reaches in the intestine of the swine. Then by virtue we know that digest, after digestion of the food it is absorbed by the villi of the intestine. So the uh, larvae then come into the blood circulation of the swine. It bore the wall of the intestine and come into the blood vessels to some mucosa layer and from there through generated blood circulation it reaches into the voluntary muscles of the swine. Voluntary muscles. Where the larvae coiled themselves. I have shown here. Here the larvae have coiled themselves. This is the larva but not encapsulated. That, that is not encysted. This larva when come into the striated muscles of the swine it become coiled and start encysting position, when I encysted it say, one thick protective covering forms around it and uh, resides in the muscles fiber of the swine. Now see, in that condition where the encapsulated live larva present in the muscles, stuated muscles of the swine, it can stay there 30 days up to. After that, if the flesh, I mean the pork, is taken by the human and if it be in not well cooked position, I have written, written here, not well cooked pork is taken by the human. Then, ultimately, through digest, through ingestion, it comes into the stomach of the man and uh, it reaches ultimately into the intestine of the human where it can survive up to two to three days. When it take molds and then after it uh, resides there up to two to three months in adult human intestine. So this is the life cycle. The parasite continues its cycle within human and the swine. That means here the transmission takes place through the taking of uncooked or not well cooked pork and uh, here you see that I am going to represent here another events here if the encapsulated larva infected larva is being eaten by the pea then the cycle will continue within the same host. It has also have been studied that if it is been taken eaten by rat within the same species through their nature of carni borism, when the same species feed the place of the same I mean red to red, 
this tendency is known as carnivorism that will run in that way. That means the life cycle requires but the infection actually distributed from swine to human or from human to either when it turns me into rat or uh, eaten by um, pig. That means the infected larvae will proceed towards the human being through the bad attitude. I mean, if they uh, t uh, took it in um, non oil cooked positions or if it be t eaten by pig or eaten by rat. This is the overall life cycle. Here, it is representing here that the larvae have become coiled themselves and present in the striped muscles. Now, we have to know that what will be their um, tendency of infection, what they actually cause. If they cause present in the human intestine, that sometimes causes um, problems, I mean soiling of the lymphatic vessels, it also causes diarrhea and uh, it has also happened here, you see that if the female remain, female um, lays larvae, the larvae sometimes penetrates the intestinal wall and from intestinal wall pass into blood and then from blood to uh, blood vessels to venous blood to uh, liver, then to heart, then to lungs and again come back into the heart. That will be circulate in the human body. This tendency causes trichiniasis. When if it be transmit within the human body, not uh, pass into the peak. So that will cause trichiniasis. It sometimes happens. After copulation male dies, female in the intestine try to bore the intestinal wall and uh, through venous blood travels in that way and uh, cause trichiniasis which indicates the symptoms of diarrhea stomach pain, abdominal pain, such and such, muscular pain, in that way. So, this should be controlled if we uh, take fresh um, or if we boiled, if we take the pork properly cooked, then there will be no chances of its transmission. In that way, that should be controlled. That means the personal hygiene depends on its uh, transmission. And control will be possible through our hygienic practice. And uh, we also take care that that can be prevented or controlled. Our household garbage should not be thrown everywhere, here and there. So that the hog or pig can make crowd there, they cannot come in combination of our garbages. So we should have to be take our personal care, personal hygienic position. That should, we should make our surrounding neat and clean clear. So this is about the whole life cycle of trichinella spirilis commonly known as Taikina 1 and this is not so recorded in India but it is very common in uh, European country, USA okay this is about clear